Well, we'll probably sell out and move if we try to. But I don't know who would buy the place. Some people who live near an Estill County landfill say they're ready to leave after learning naturally occurring radioactive waste was dumped there. We have team coverage of the investigation. Tonight, police are investigating a deadly shooting rampage in a small Kansas town. What we've learned about the suspected gunman. A major economic announcement tonight for Woodford County. State leaders say a company plans to create hundreds of new jobs there. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening to you. Flurries and snow showers stuck around for much of the day as chilly air settled in. And tonight, some snow is still falling in parts of eastern Kentucky. So we begin with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. He has your no wait weather forecast. Chris? Yeah, guys, a lot of the gusty winds continuing to come at us from the northwest. And as long as we have that northwesterly flow, it remains cold and we keep those snow flurries across most of central and eastern Kentucky. Late evening thermometers haven't moved very much since we talked last at 6 o'clock. We're into the low and mid 30s in many areas. Throw the wind into the mix. Now it feels a lot colder, doesn't it? Low and mid 20s into much of central and eastern Kentucky. A few upper 20s scattered in there as well. Wind chill, obviously, that's what your body's going to react to. It's what your skin thinks the temperature is. Defender Radar Network, snow showers southeastern Kentucky on a couple of lines that continue to work their way on through from northwest to southeast. And we'll keep that flow going through tomorrow morning, waking up to a flurry or two, but into the afternoon, skies try to break a little bit. It's a mix of sun and some clouds with temperatures that will be on the move into the 35 to 40 degree range into most of the area. Speaking of on the move, temperatures soar as we head into the final weekend of February, guys. Brand new hour by hour forecast to track the big surge in thermometers at 11:12. Chris, thank you. The news left a central Kentucky community in shock today. State leaders announced low-level, naturally occurring radioactive waste had been illegally dumped in an Estill County landfill. That waste came from out of state, and many people in Estill County want to know if it poses any danger to them. Tonight, the State Department of Public Health tried to calm fears. Our Monique Blair is at the live desk now to begin our top story team coverage. Monique. Well, Sam and Amber, sometime between July and November of last year, state leaders say a company from West Virginia illegally dumped 16 to 1,800 tons of radioactive material into the Blue Ridge landfill in Estill County. Tonight, the Kentucky Department for Public Health says there is no reason to be concerned at this time. Preliminary investigation of our radiation health branch employees indicates that there is no um, radiation level above what we would normally expect in the background at the surface of this landfill. An investigation was opened earlier this month after a contractor alerted state officials that radioactive materials may have been dumped into the landfill. The state found that, in fact, 47 boxes, each the size of a large dumpster, had been deposited. The material came in containers, okay, so it should have been secure in those containers before it got to the landfill. So the, the area that we're con most concerned about is the landfill, that site itself, okay, and not other surrounding areas okay. in Estill County. It was illegal to dump this material for one because Kentucky limits where radioactive materials can come from and West Virginia is not one of those places. Also, the material that was buried was more than 300 times the legal limit for radioactivity to be buried at a solid waste landfill. Although state officials say their preliminary investigation deems the area safe now, they are still looking at the potential effects that may have occurred back when the material was dumped. First of all, um, what the potential exposure was at the time of the dumping to employees there and others who may have been around the site. Now, the Division of Waste Management plans to site the landfill. Also, they will enforce the landfill to do whatever they have to to make sure it's safe, which could include removing the radioactive material and sending it somewhere else. At the live desk, Monique Blair, WKYT. Monique, thank you. While state leaders say the waste was dumped at the landfill months ago, Estill County officials say they didn't find out about it until today. The landfill is on Winchester Road, not far from the Estill County Middle and High Schools. Tonight, Garrett Weimer talked to people who live nearby who say they want answers. He continues our top story team coverage. Just across Highway 89 from the Blue Ridge landfill, 
Gene Reese and his wife have lived in this home for years, right next to Estill County High School. Maybe not for much longer. Well, we'll probably sell out and move, try to. But I don't know who would buy the place having something like this next door to them. Reese and many others in Estill County say they have a lot of questions after learning about radioactive material at the landfill. Anytime the, the terms radiological uh, gets thrown around, it's, it's scary to people. Uh, we, uh, our very first, most important duty is to ensure the safety of our community. County leaders are concerned too, in part because they say they found out about it from us. Do you feel that this is something you should have known about before 2 o'clock today? I would have hoped so, yes. The county's emergency management director says the state assured him that this is not a public health threat to the community. But folks here aren't convinced. Not yet. It's just pitiful that we would let something like this happen to the local communities. Now they say they want to know why, and perhaps more importantly, what's next. What will you be thinking about when you uh, go to sleep tonight? If I go to sleep tonight, I'll be praying. <laughs> That's for sure. In Estill County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Estill County Judge Executive Wallace Taylor says the landfill owner told him that none of their paperwork indicated the material brought in from West Virginia was radioactive. For more coverage of this story, including a letter the state sent to landfills all around Kentucky, go to WKYT.com or the WKYT News app. Tonight, police say that four people are dead and more than a dozen injured after a man went on a shooting spree in a small Kansas town. They say he killed some of his co-workers before police killed him. Marley Hall has the latest new at 11. Anxious family members rushed to their loved ones after a gunman opened fire on his co-workers at a lawnmower manufacturing company in Heston, Kansas. Inside the building, he shot a total of 15 people. Four were killed, including himself. A law enforcement source tells CBS News the shooter is 38-year-old Cedric Ford. This employee says he worked alongside Ford on the paint line at Excel Industries and saw the shooter pull up in a pickup truck. Popped out with AK-47, it appeared like, and fired a few shots outside before he went in and then ducked down and went into the building. Jennifer Trujillo's husband was inside the plant. He did say somebody next to him got shot. Oh my God! Oh my God! She was reunited with her husband on live television. Co worker Josh Tucker knows the alleged shooter. Like I said, he was a really nice guy and, and uh, seemed not this kind of person, that's for sure. Police are investigating multiple crime scenes. Witnesses say the gunman randomly shot at motorists on his way to work. One woman told local reporters Ford shot at her. He came and wanted me to get out of the car, and I laid down, and he did shoot. KWCH reports Ford had an extensive criminal record, but so far police don't have a motive. Marley Hall, CBS News. And new tonight, we have learned a southern Kentucky teenager has died after a crash. It happened this afternoon on Highway 192 near College Park Drive in London. Police say a car was making a left-hand turn when an SUV T-boned it. The Laurel County coroner says the driver of the car, 17-year-old Christopher Hubbard, died in the crash. Police say a passenger in the car was airlifted to U.K. hospital and is in critical condition tonight. Police say that both Hubbard and his passenger were Clay County High School students attending classes at a community college in London. New tonight, state leaders say more than 300 new jobs are coming to Woodford County thanks to an Indiana company. They say more than a bakery will build a more than $57 million plant on Big Sink Pike in Versailles. Employees there will make cookies, crackers, and other foods for major food brands and retailers. State leaders say construction will begin this summer and the plant will open by the end of 2017. They say 310 jobs will be created. New tonight, a grand jury has indicted five people in a vote-buying investigation out of McGoffin County. Those charged include Larry Shepard, the husband of McGoffin County Clerk Renee Arnett Shepard. The grand jury claims four of the people indicted, including Larry Shepard, conspired to buy votes for the county clerk and judge executive Doc Carden during the 2014 elections. The fifth person is accused of helping with vote-buying. Tonight, the Republican presidential candidates gathered in Texas for their final debate before Super Tuesday, and much of the attention was on frontrunner front runner Donald Trump. 
You're the only person on the stage that's ever been fined for hiring people to work on your projects illegally. I'm the Poland. only one on the stage that's hired people. You haven't hired anybody. Well, Senators Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz have been vying for second place in recent contests. Trump criticized Senator Cruz for having little support in the Senate. You don't have the endorsement of one Republican senator, and you work with these people. Senator Cruz. You should be ashamed of yourself. Donald, if you want to be liked in Washington, that's not a good attribute for a president. Eleven states will hold GOP primaries on Tuesday, and experts say it could be an important day in deciding who wins the nomination. Two months after a deadly hit-and-run crash in eastern Kentucky, the man police say caused it has been indicted. In nine minutes, what the victim's family told us. And then police in the Cincinnati area investigating an unusual series of thefts at pharmacies, what they say the suspect has been stealing. It's time to wake up. You've got things to do. Mouths to feed, work to get done. It's another Kentucky morning. And Kentucky mornings start here. Good morning, I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You don't have time to waste, so we don't waste your time. Simple as that. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. You're probably wondering, with all the meat that Arby's has, do they have ocean meat? Well, wonder no longer. Arby's has more wild-caught Alaskan pollock fillets than you could ever imagine. Especially if you're only imagining one filet. Eat two crispy fish filet sandwiches or flatbreads for five dollars. Arby's, we have the meat. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, a day that featured a lot of clouds across the area. We had those on and off snow showers, flurries, gusty winds, just a raw late February day in the bluegrass state. Looking for something better? Besides the fact that it's the weekend, which is always better, the weather's going to go up as well. Take a look outside at the numbers. Into the mid-30s, northwesterly winds continuing to blow across central and eastern Kentucky. Now, we broaden out the view a little bit. I want to show you how the numbers across Kentucky really are not that much different for areas to our northwest. This is an area that got hammered by a blizzard 24 hours ago. So the storm system did not have a ton of cold air to work with. We're eventually going to see winds coming from the southwest, starting to make that switch over the next 24 hours to our southwest. That'll roll into town this weekend. A flurry or two southeastern Kentucky tomorrow. We go into tomorrow evening with temperatures that will be into the low and mid 30s. The sky slowly clear. It may be like pulling teeth tomorrow to get in on some clearing. Just hang in there and be patient. Defender radar network, snow showers, southeastern Kentucky flurries into parts of central Kentucky, still dusting a rooftop here or there. Pretty hefty little band of snow. I guarantee you, right along this little corridor here, not too far from the Red River Gorge area, we're picking up on some light accumulations with that snow band right on top of the Mountain Parkway, Campton, West Liberty, down towards Salyersville, Jackson, and back into Boonville and Beattyville. Points of the West, hello London, Corbin, Whitley City, Somerset, and Monticello. Flurries have been flying around a little earlier in the day, not so much right now. We get rid of the flakes tomorrow. Three day threat track. I like to see green on the map, especially as we go into a weekend. Not a whole lot to uh, talk about in terms of actual weather coming from the skies. 
Clear skies Saturday and for the most part on Sunday. Sunday's a windy day, though. That's going to be the only drawback as we have this big high pressure across the southeastern seaboard. Cold front to our north on Sunday. Basically, it opens up a big wind tunnel right across the Ohio Valley. Those gusts on Sunday could reach 40 miles an hour. What about the temperatures? That's what you're concerned about right now. Let's walk you through it. Hour by hour forecast. 12 noon tomorrow. Temperatures into the low and mid 30s. We may hit 40 if we if we can clear the skies up tomorrow afternoon. We go through your Friday evening. Night out on the town. Pick your town. Nothing going on except temperatures on the chilly side. Notice how the numbers don't move much into Saturday morning. Right around 30 degrees. How about your Saturday afternoon? Much better. Sun. Upper 40s, low 50s. Watch your timeline here. Let's go into Sunday. If you're up and at them early on a Sunday morning with upper 30s to around 40, by the time we go into the afternoon, low 60s, 60 to 65 degrees into most areas. And it's during that time we're going to find the winds cranking up. Saturday's winds, yeah, it's a typical gust, 15, 20 miles per hour. Now we go into Sunday morning. Watch those gusts begin to ramp up. And by Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening, we're talking about some gusts that are greater than 40 miles per hour. That's a milder wind, though. A lot of times on a mild wind, the models tend to undershoot the numbers, so let's overshoot. Let's go to 64 for that high to wrap up the weekend on Sunday. Mother Nature, feel free to overshoot that number if you like. All right? I say just 64? Six, 64 is good, but if Mother Nature wants to push 70, far be it for me to stop her. We won't argue one bit. Chris, thank right. you. He's new on the force, but sheriff's deputies in Bell County say a police dog has already helped them make an arrest. Details in seven minutes. If you're going to say better ingredients, better pizza, you better deliver. Which is why I'm introducing our new Papa John's Quality Guarantee. Love your pizza or get another one absolutely free. Get any large pizza with up to five toppings for just $9.99. Online only at PapaJohns.com. It's Furniture World Superstore's biggest tax refund sale ever. Now's a great time to redecorate your home because Furniture World stretches your tax refund with huge savings store-wide. Plus, two years interest-free. Now at Furniture World, use your tax refund to refurnish your living room or dining room. Update your bedroom. Sleep better on a comfortable new mattress. We're serious about saving you big money. Get huge tax refund savings. Plus, it's interest-free for two full years. So hurry in and save during our biggest tax refund sale ever. Now at all five Furniture World Superstore locations. Farmer, Frankfurt Outsider, that's Chuck Tackett. Pro-family and pro-business. Chuck Tackett rejects the notion by Washington liberals that the answer to every problem is another big government program. We can trust Chuck Tackett to put our families first by standing up to big government and big business. In the special election for state representative March 8th, send a message to the career politicians. Vote Chuck Tackett. Farmer, Frankfurt Outsider. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental, they got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer bad. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1 800 Aspen Dental. So, where are you? Using the built-in Wi-Fi in Tina's new Buick. My grandpa used to drive a Buick. It doesn't look like a Buick. No kidding. Okay, who wants smoothies? That's not your grandpa. Hey! Current lessees, switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this 2016 Encore for around $185 per month. Visit your Bluegrass Buick dealer today. If you're going to say better ingredients, better pizza, you better deliver. Which is why I'm introducing our new Papa John's Quality Guarantee. Love your pizza or get another one absolutely free. Get any large pizza with up to five toppings for just $9.99. Online only at PapaJohns.com. A Wolf County man now faces charges for a deadly hit-and-run crash that happened on Christmas Eve. A grand jury indicted Keith Branham on reckless homicide and leaving the scene of an accident charges. Police say Jamie Robinson died after being hit by a car while walking on Highway 191. His family isn't sure why he was walking on the road Christmas Eve night. He was a nice brother. He helped people if they wanted him, you know, to come and, and need him or something, he'd go and help them. Police say Branham told them he wasn't sure exactly what his car hit on Christmas Eve. He's now in jail on a $50,000 bond.
New tonight, a man has been charged with a murder that happened at an Allen County nursing home. Scottsville police arrested a 35-year-old man who legally changed his name to the Reverend. His original name was Robert Reynolds. Police say the suspect killed a 71-year-old man at the Scottsville Manor nursing home today. They say both men lived at the nursing home. New tonight, Lexington police have a warning about car thefts. Police say in the last month, they've received 50 reports of cars being stolen around the city. They say in 14 cases, the car was left running and unattended before it was stolen. Police say in another 16 cases, thieves used a spare key kept inside the car. Police say leaving a running vehicle unattended is against city ordinances. New tonight, the Bell County Sheriff's Office says that one of their dogs helped track down a man they say assaulted a man after a crash. Deputies say that Boyd Freeman's ATV hit a truck Tuesday night, but they say he then punched the driver of the truck and drove off. Deputies say they later found Freeman after his ATV got stuck in the mud, and one of their new police dogs named Jax kept him from running off. I went ahead and employed Jax because Jax could get to him quicker than I could, and uh, so I ran behind Jax, and when I got there, Jax was in the process of trying to get him out of the vehicle. Deputies charged Freeman with assault, fleeing or evading, and DUI. They say that recently they bought a bulletproof vest for Jax. New tonight, police in the Cincinnati area say they're looking for a serial thief who's stealing the same thing from pharmacies. Police in Mount Healthy, Ohio, have released surveillance pictures of the suspect. They think he's stolen Rogaine from at least five Walgreens stores in the Cincinnati suburbs. While the suspect is bald, police don't think he's stealing Rogaine for himself. It's a little odd with Rogaine. Um, we're not too sure. We're trying to uh, look into that, but our, our feelings is that he's trying to resell this either on Craigslist, eBay, maybe at some type of flea market. Police say the suspect usually leaves the packaging behind on the shelf so employees don't realize what's happened until he's left the store. They say they're also looking to see if he is behind other thefts as far north as Cleveland and as far south as Florence, Kentucky. That may be a new one. In Mount Healthy. Mount Healthy, yes. It all seems to come together there. District titles going on the line tonight, Rob. That includes the final in the boys' 42nd. We'll have the highlights of Henry Clay in Scott County. And senior night for the UK women's team for Janae Thompson. What a way to be remembered. Stay with us. Sports is now. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Think of it as a seven-seat theater for an action-packed thriller. The all-new Audi Q7. Bluegrass Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at bmaky.com. Come get some real slow smoked pork at Sonny's Barbecue. Both pulled and sliced pork with sides and bread for $9.99 or with a redneck egg roll for $11.99. Sonny's Barbecue. Local pit masters since 68. Technology entire countries want to get their hands on. If they could ever catch you. The all new Audi Q7. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $125 million, and Saturday's Powerball jackpot is $266 million. The treasure folks are loving is the ocean's greatest haul. McDonald's filet fish the most golden of them all. Right now, get two flaky filet of fish sandwiches for just $5. The President's Day sales event ends soon at your local Ford stores. Last chance to save big on Ford, America's best selling brand six years straight. Choose from a great lineup of stylish cars, capable SUVs, and legendary trucks. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus 2,000 trade assist on Fusion. Focus or escape, or get zero for 60 plus two grand bonus cash on F-150. But hurry, all offers end February 29th. So visit your local Ford store.
come to the flooring gallery and let's find the perfect floor together. The Flooring Gallery, your home's best friend. Attention, Green's Toyota of Lexington is having a sale so big it can only happen every four years. Green's Leap Year Sales Event this weekend. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Special APR offers available, including 0% APR on our most popular models. And get up to $2,000 customer cash on 13 different models. A Leap Year Sales Event only at Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer. Four years running. Green's Toyota. Great people. Great cars. Great dreams. Wake up with a hot McCafe coffee starting at only one dollar. Senior night for the UK women, the Cats hosting Missouri in an important SEC game. Janae Thompson going through the ring. That was her only stumble of the night for the only senior on senior night. Big hug waiting for her from Coach Matthew Mitchell, and then she simply went to work. Here she is with a crossover dribble and jumper, Kentucky up early 20 to 14. Just before the half, Evelyn Akator, the jumper, she had 15 points, nine boards. UK up 39-26 at the half. Third quarter, Michaela Epps scoring through contact. Strong play. She had 14 tonight, but it was the Tigers who were really flexing their muscles in the third. They come all the way back. Morgan Stott, three, gives Mizzou the lead, but Thompson took over in the fourth. First the three, catch up 56-51, then on the move in the lane. The scoop. And one more jumper, 12 fourth quarter points for the senior and a career high 24 in the game. Kentucky fighting for a bye in the SEC tournament wins it 69-59. To have someone perform like that on senior night, that's storybook type stuff. And we needed every, every ounce of, of, of her energy and her leadership. I had a lot of people here um, from my hometown, um, from other cities, who I, a lot of my family who I haven't seen in a long time. People make a big deal out of this, um, but I was just more happy um, to see my family. Alex Poitras returning to the court earlier this week, and he looked great against Alabama. Coming off a knee injury that forced him to miss five games, Poitras was strong inside. He scored 14 points in 17 minutes. He was the player that John Calipari wants to see. When Alex is the best version of himself, he's as good as any guy his size in the country. But he's got to come every day and be that guy. Today, he played it without having played for two, three weeks. Um, he was close to it for spurts. And now it's like, OK, it's time to finish. On to the boys, 42nd district championship game. Henry Clay and Scott County going at it. The Cardinals get the highlights going. Bryce Long the three, Long with 16, cards up by two. Then Leander Ridgeway taking over the quarter. Back the other way, the southpaw drilling a three of his own. In transition, Isaiah Tisdale ahead to Ridgeway again for three. He had 31 in the game, Tisdale with 33. Scott County. Clem Dameron missing, but Cooper Robb sneaking in, getting the putback. Robb had 19 points, but Henry Clay with Ridgeway and Tisdale get it done tonight, 85 to 77. Girls, 42nd District Final, Bryan Station and Henry Clay. The defenders grab the early lead, and then the Devils go in a run. Kalia Livers with a steal in the score, and she wasn't finished. She had 34 points, 16 rebounds, three steals. Henry Clay leading by eight, and the fans were on their feet. Brian Station gets back in it. Kara Burdett going high off the glass and the foul. But Henry Clay getting the trophy tonight, 79 to 72. Girls 40th District Final, Clark County, Bourbon County, Cardinals running. Malaya Owens right down the lane, off the window and one. She had 15. Bourbon County turns to Haley Azell. The, she goes lefty off the glass for two of her 21. But the Clark County Cardinals going on a 23-3 run. Sydney Anderson went crazy in the second. She had everything going. Threes from everywhere. And then she drives and hits the 12-footer. Clark County wins it 61-40.
And in Dubai, California Chrome, the 2014 Derby winner, continuing his comeback. The five-year-old opening the year by winning the San Pascual at Santa Anita. Then he was sent to the Middle East to train for the Dubai World Cup. That will be run on March 26th with Victor Espinosa aboard California Chrome, appearing to be in top form. Last year, he ran a close second in the World Cup. Chrome did not run again until the San Pascual. Stay with us. Matt Jones is next. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. Are you happy with your bathroom? I wasn't. I thought I didn't have the money until I learned about Bathfitter. Bathfitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bathfitter will measure and install right over your existing tub. And only Bathfitter has seamless walls, which guarantees a watertight fit. Plus, they do it all in just one day. That's my favorite part. Book a free consultation and find out for yourself. Call today or learn more at bathfitternow.com. In Kentucky, elder abuse is on the rise. Most nursing home residents say nothing in fear of retaliation. Watch for signs, bruises, scratches, bed sores, and cues in body language. If you suspect nursing home abuse, you need to seek justice. Call Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600, 800-800-4600, before it's too late. You are never far away from a new Toyota. Find the latest offers on your tablet or phone. Toyota is everywhere you are at buyatoyota.com. Now, during the final days of Toyota's Anytime Anywhere event, get this 2016 Camry with 0 for 60 financing plus $500 bonus cash. Get 1250 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. So visit here and then come in here. Now through February 29th. Toyota, let's go places. You're probably wondering, with all the meat that Arby's has, do they have ocean meat? Well, wonder no longer. Arby's has more wild-caught Alaskan pollock fillets than you could ever imagine. Especially if you're only imagining one fillet. Eat two crispy fish fillet sandwiches or flatbreads for $5. Arby's, we have the meat. Disney on Ice presents Treasure Trove, presented by Yo Kids, live in your hometown. Tickets start at $15. Tickets are on sale now, playing March 10th through 13th at Rupp Arena. Visit Ticketmaster today. What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. When newsmakers want to make more news, they come to Colbert. I want to thank you for running for president. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. What's happening? Weeknights. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. Kentucky gets ready for its game on Saturday against Vanderbilt on the road, and it looks like Derek Willis is unlikely to play. I saw him limping around on Tuesday, and I'd be shocked if he's able to go. But now that Kentucky's gotten good play from Alex Poitras, it's not quite as important. As we talked about last night, the new team with Poitras is much more defensive-oriented. But if Kentucky is going to be able to play without Willis, somebody else is going to have to shoot from outside. You may have noticed in the last game that they gave Briscoe wide-open shots. He took a lot of them, and he missed a lot of them. So instead of Briscoe, we're going to have to see shooting from one of two people, Dominique Hawkins or Michael Mulder. If Kentucky's in a close game where defense is at a priority, those two guys are going to get their chance. They're going to get open looks, and they're going to have to make them. Now, we know Dominique Hawkins can. He did it against Louisville and helped get that victory. But Michael Mulder's shooting 23% from three-point land, and has only made one three-pointer all year in Rupp Arena. If one of those guys is going to be able to hit shots, losing Derrick Willis won't be as big a deal. And that's important because Kentucky needs to win the last three games to win the SEC. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime.
Weekend is here. EmojiCast for your Friday. The deeper we get into the day, the smiles will start to show up. And speaking of smiling, it's all smiles for a Saturday, and we'll throw the shades in there for EmojiCast for Sunday at 64. Ear-to-ear -ear smile. Ear -to -ear. I like That's it. That's a big old smile there. Sunglasses, Woo. baby. See you tomorrow. <laughs>